Welcome everyone, I'm the Depressed Eeyore and this is Yomi. Yomi is a two-player fighting card game where you play a play as a various characters who have their own unique decks and you try to, um, the game, as the name implies, the game revolves around trying to read your opponent and countering their moves with your own moves. And uh, the way the game works is you um, win once uh, one player runs out of life. Um, now this is the Steam version. Um, there's also, I think, probably a mobile version as well. Um, it's overall pretty, pretty good. Um, the, game by, the only DLC uh, for this is just to get the extra characters. So, for example, you can get the expansion decks here. So there's the base characters. You start with all of these decks automatically. So you have all the all ten of the base characters, and then if you pay a little extra money, you can get the expansion characters as well, which is another ten characters. Each of them with their unique mechanics. They, each character generally has one special ability, uh, a unique uh, passive ability, and then they have a bunch of other unique abilities involving their cards usually. Um, also some characters favor certain fighting styles, such as favoring um, dodges over blocks and things like that. But we'll go into that a bit later, because I'm actually going to go ahead and play the tutorial, because the tutorial is actually pretty good in this game. So let's do this. Uh, so yeah, we'll just start with the basics. Welcome to Yomi, the fighting uh, card game. Yomi sim simulates a, fight a fighting game where you try to reduce your opponent's life to zero through various moves, attack, block, dodge, and throw your way to victory. These are the cards in your hand. You can zoom in on any card by mousing over it or and holding either the right mouse, uh, mouse button or the spacebar. You can also hold the left mouse button uh, for a second to zoom in on a card. Uh, zoom on the zoom on a card in your hand now. So as you can see there's multiple cards um, and most of the cards also have two sides to them. There's a top side and the bottom side. So for example there's this... Um, also the cards are labeled after the, a standard uh, playing card deck. So you can see there's the two of hearts, two of diamonds, three of clubs, etc. Um, generally the higher the value of the playing card the more effective it is but it's also usually slower with the exception of the face cards which are special attacks. Anyway Let's go ahead and just zoom in on one of these. Uh, we'll do this one. Oh, just did that. One second. Anyway, so as you can see there, there's a three attack. So it does on the top right corner, it does how much damage and all that fun stuff. But well, it's pro the tutorial will probably handle all that for me. Each Yomi card has two sides, and you decide which side to pl uh, play by rotating the card. The side that that's towards your opponent is the one that counts. Rotate your your eight now by clicking on it. At the core of Yomi are the four move types, attack, throw, block, and dodge. Each turn, you and your opponent will play a move secretly, then reveal them to see who wins. The moves have a rock, paper, scissors relationship. Attacks beat throws, throws beats blocks and dodges, blocks and dodges beats attacks. When you block an attack, you get to draw a card and keep your block card too. Let's see how this works. Your opponent, Grave, has played his card, combat card face down. You play your 8 as a block now, and it will be your combat card. To play a card, first click on it to rotate it if you need to, then drag it to your uh, your hand from your hand to the play field above. So for the tutorial, it wants me to block, so I'll flip it to the block side. And there you go, he attacked. I negate the block, so no damage happens to me, and I get to draw an extra card. And I get to keep the card I, I played, because that's the special thing about blocks. Blocks does no damage, but it is a useful way to get more cards while avoiding attack damage. You can always keep your block card unless you get thrown. Blocks are the only type of, of move you can keep this way. At the start of each turn, both players draw a card. When you dodge an attack, you can hit them back with a single attack or throw. No combos. There's a few exceptions to that. So we're going to go ahead and flip this over to a dodge, play it. So we dodge the uh, physical attack, and we can now counter with a, um, a single attack or throw. Now if you, um, if you counter with a throw, it doesn't actually do a knockdown, which we'll talk about knockdowns later. You dodge Graves' attack, now you can hit him, them back with any single attack or throw. Let's hit him with Charge Shot, one of, of the attacks on our jack card for 8 damage. Make sure Charge Shot is on uh, is the top side of the jack, click to rotate, then play it. So, if we look at this, there's the um, 6 damage Flame Arrow and the 8 damage Charge Shot. We want to do Charge Shot. And there you go, we counted for 8 damage. 
Of course, all that stuff got discarded. Good job. Uh, Grave took da 8 damage from your charge shot. Both the dodge and attack cards are discarded. We then we start a new turn. Alright, when you hit with an attack against a throw or a slower attack, you deal damage and can usually combo into more attacks. What's more, if you hit with a normal attack number 2 through 10 as your combat card, it, or if your normal attack gets blocked, you can you draw a, a card. If you... Okay, and it's just letting you know if you played first edition Yomi, this is a new rule. The damage of an, if an attack is shown in its top right corner, so 2 damage there. Um, also has a little symbol here that shows how much damage it does but whenever it gets blocked. The yellow box shows the speed of the attack, lower means faster, and the orange box shows how uh, many combo points the attack takes. You can only do a combo as big as your character's combo limit each turn. Jaina's combo limit is 5. So each character actually ha has their own deck, has their own max life point, have their own unique ability, and they have their own combo limit. As you can see, Grave actually has 90 HP as Jaina only has 85. Anyway. Time, uh, time to combo your opponent. Play your two attack now, so we'll do a two attack. Try to do a throw, which attacks always beat throws. And then we can combo into a three. Yeah, let's say you hit Grave's throw with your attack, you can now continue your combo with more valid combo attacks. Each card says what it can combo into, but the basic rules are simple. Normal attacks can combo into normal attacks of one higher, so two, three, four or into linkers or enders. Starters and linkers combo into any normal attack or into linkers or enders. And now let's combo our two into a three. Play our three attack, so there's our three. Linkers are cool because everything can combo into them except can't combo and ender moves, so they link combo uh, cards together. Let's combo the three into our king linker attack. Crossfire kick, play your king now. Uh, this card is actually both sides the same thing. So we'll go ahead and linker this. Some moves like Crossfire Kick have optional pump cost. Uh, when they hit, you can discard the appropriate cards to pump it for more damage. They are shown in the green box on the card, so you can see there's the plus KKK. Uh, the plus KKK means uh, you can discard up to three kings, and each of them will deal an additional seven damage. Let's pump it with our other Crossfire Kick. And then we'll go ahead and Linkers combo into any normal attack, or into Linkers or Enders. We've used four of our five combo points so far, so let's end this combo by comboing into our sixth normal attack. So two, five, yep, 18, and 24 damage, all on using five cards. All right, wow, four hit combo for 24 damage. And finally, throws work basically, basically like attacks. When you throw a, a block or dodge, or a slower throw, you deal damage and get to usually combo to more moves. Let's see a throw in action. Player 8 is a throw. Your throw wins against Gray's block, so you can combo into more moves. Note that Janus throws are starter, are a starter, which means that they can only be used as the start of a combo. You can't combo into a starter. By contrast, an ender like your Jack's Flame Arrow side ends your combo when you play it. You can't combo into other things afterwards. The final combo property, which we haven't seen yet, is Can't Combo. It is, it's the simplest kind of move. You can't, can never combo into or out of a, a Can't Combo move. We don't have uh, much to combo into right now, so let's just end our combo with a Flame Arrow Jack. Not sure why we're doing a Flame Arrow instead of a Charge Shot, but whatever. Another good combo, two hits for 13 damage. Doing big combos is great for inflicting damage, but it costs a lot of cards and our hand is now somewhat small. What can we do to get more cards again? Easiest way is to block. When, you, when your block meets another block or dodge, you don't draw a card from blocking, but you still keep your block card as usual, so it still comes out okay. Dodges are always discarded though. So even though it was a, a quote unquote tie, he, we forced him to get rid of a dodge card. Let's block again to build a killer hand. Block with your 9 again. We block Grave's Lightning Cloud attack, but we st uh, still take its block damage. Block damage is the small number in the blue shield just below the main damage of the card, so it does 8 damage when it's unblocked, it does 3 damage when it's blocked. 
And what's more, this attack has a special ability on it. Every character has two or three ranks of cards with abilities. They let you do special checks that bend the rules. Graves Lightning Trap, for instance, makes it unusually good against blocks. It returns to Graves' hand, and we don't draw a card from, uh, from blocking. This Lightning cl uh, Cloud attack is troublesome, since you can't really beat it by blocking, and Grave can play it again next turn. But we have a trick up our sleeves. We can outspeed this 2-4 speed with a faster attack of our own. Remember, with move speeds, lower means faster. So Lightning Trap triggers, so we don't get an extra card, we do take 3 damage, he gets his Lightning Trap back. So every time we block we're going to run into trouble with that. Grave is likely to play his Lightning Cloud to 2.4 speed again, so let's outspeed that. We can we only have uh, one attack that's fast enough to beat Lightning Cloud, let's play that attack. So we'll do Dragon Heart, Dragon Heart is both sides the same thing. And it's an Ender card, so we can't combo with it. It does have a booster on it, but it's also 0.2 speed, so it's pretty blazing fast. Did I do that right? Yeah. Oh. What the? Yeah? There, okay, for some reason I didn't drag it right or something. Anyway, uh, two attacks. The faster attack uh, usually wins. Alright, success! Point, uh, 0.2 speed is faster than 2.4 speed, so we win combat. Our attack is also pumpable for five, plus 5 damage by discarding a card, but it's an ender, so it's, it ends our combo there. Let's discard a 3 to pump the attack and make it really hurt. Alright, we'll pump it, so it's going to do 13 damage. It's a shame that our combo, card have to, uh, combo cards have to be discarded at the end of combat, or do they? Every card has an innate ability, something special that only they can do. Jaina has Burning Figure. It lets her return co re combo cards to her hand at the cost of some life. This, mean, uh, this means that we can bring back the 3 here for 3 life. That's a great deal, so let's do that. We can't buy back the Queen though, since we have more than 35 life. Click on the 3 to s uh, select it for Burning Vigor. Click Done to return it to your hand. So yeah. Jaina's passive abilities, I can actually sacrifice my life to get back cards to my hand that I just played. As long as they're combo. Once you're low on life, you can start doing face cards, I think, as well. Uh, you can see your character card at any time by mousing over the, your own portrait in the top left. You can also see your opponent's character card by mousing over there. So yeah, uh, at the nearest com uh, combat, if you attacked, you may return any of your combo cards to your hand other than queens or aces. Okay, so you can do other face cards. Um, take 3 damage for each card returned this way. If you have 35 or less life, you can, may also return queens and aces and take 4 damage for each. Over here, he ha his special ability is when you block an attack, you may reveal a card from your hand. If you, if you combat reveal that card next turn, but don't win combo with it, draw a card. If you do win combo with it, search your deck and discard pile for a queen and put it into your hand. Alright. You're doing great. Now finish off Grave on your own. You now have full control, so apply what you've learned and kick some ass. Alright, so we now have full control and we finish up the combat. We do have a heck of a lead. It's only at 32 versus 79, so we got some work to do. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start with a... I do have some combos I can mess around with, but for right now I'm just going to block. Alright, so it's just a tie. We got our cards back. Oh, and it's talking about power-ups, which we haven't actually talked about. Power-ups you can do by, if you have any duplicate cards in your hand, you can combine them to, turn, uh, to automatically draw aces from your deck. I have no available abilities, thank you. Alright. I think he's going to attack. So I'm going to block again. Nope, I was, gonna, I was thinking about throwing. So this is a game where literally I kind of, the only thing you can really try to do is try to read their, um, what they do, and keep track of what cards they spent. So if y'all want to, I can look at their discard pile and all that stuff. Anyway. Draw two cards, then discard a card, then re your, the opponent reveals their hand. So he played that a, a special ability card. So, and he actually played it twice, so he got to draw four cards, and he looked at my hand twice. So he knows exactly what's in my hand now. Which is a little dangerous. Go ahead and do a 3 attack and see what happens. Alright, I outspeed him, so I can go ahead and combo this. So I'm going to go ahead and do 4. I can 
do an ender, but it's a queen. I don't exactly want to do that as an ender. Uh, but I can do that ender. Or I can do linkers. So I'm doing 7 right now. I can do 13 and then 19. Or I can combo this way. Which actually has another benefit, which we'll talk about in a bit. So 7, 12, 18 damage from this. And I will go ahead and Burning Vigor. Uh, the max hand size, I think, is 10. I'll just take back the um, 3, 4, 5. So I lost 9 life, but I got my cards back. Also, I get an ace because I comboed enough cards. If you combo uh, 3 um, number cards, uh, together you'll get an ace, if you combo four you get two aces, and so on. So we'll go ahead and get one. You can either get it from the discard or from your deck. You'll usually want to get it from your discard if there are any, but there aren't. So there you go. Aces are pretty much your ultimate abilities. And I don't have any power-ups. I do have a draw ability. After the draw phase you uh, play an ability or pass, blah 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 blah. So what this does is knock down opponents, stand up. You, can, you can't you can play aces this turn, but you can rotate your combat reveal cards 180 degrees. If you hit the uh, the opponent this combat, search your deck or discard pile for two aces, otherwise take seven damage. Um, so I need to hit him with this combat. More than likely he would block if I did that though, so I'm not going to play it this round. All right, also I have Smoldering Embers. Whenever the opponent dodges while this card is in play, they take two damage. You can't uh, power up with this card. Okay. All right, and I have an ace. Um, once, I can only play one side. One side I can play by itself and then it combos into other aces or boost with other aces. Um, and then the other side requires two aces to play. So I, I don't have enough aces to play, but it does 18 and it's an ender. Alright, well, um, I want to go ahead and risk a throw. Awesome, I got it. So you try to dodge, throw beats dodges. Um, so we've done 7 damage, and let's see what else we can do here. Um, I, I, have, I believe I have kill right now, so... I'm just seeing what my options are. 10, 14, yeah, that's enough. You just literally do this. And there you go. Match done. Alright, um, oh. And I got a card pack. You can randomly get card packs. Um, we'll talk about those later. Anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and call this a video. Uh, when we come back, we'll continue on to the next part of the tutorial. So, I'm The Depressed Dealer, and this was Yomi. See you guys later.